Welcome to the M Ready Test Kitchen. My name is Victoria, and today we'll be making garlic herb pretzels using M Ready's garlic oil and rosemary oil. Let's get started. Place all of the dough ingredients into the bowl of a stand mixer and beat until well combined. You'll want to start with seven ounces of water, adding the last ounce if needed. Beat until well combined. Allow the machine to run for five minutes until a soft, smooth dough forms. Flour the dough and place it in a plastic bag and allow it to rest at room temperature for 30 minutes. While the dough is resting, we'll prepare our water bath. Add baking soda to boiling water and stir until dissolved. Pour the water bath into a pan and set aside to cool. This water bath will give you that distinctive pretzel taste. Now that our dough has rested, we'll divide it into eight equal pieces. And shape each piece into a rough log and let it rest uncovered for about five minutes. Roll each piece of dough into a long, thin rope and twist into a pretzel shape. As you finish each pretzel, place it in the water bath letting it soak for two minutes, using a spoon to bathe the pretzels. Instead of making a pretzel shape, cut each rope into inch pieces. If you're feeding a larger crowd or making this for a party, pretzel bites are the way to go. After their nice warm bath, move the pretzels to a parchment lined baking sheet and sprinkle them lightly with pretzel salt. Let them rest uncovered for 10 minutes. Place the pretzels in a preheated 475 degree oven and bake eight to 10 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Once the pretzels are done baking, brush them with melted butter, continuing until you've used all the butter. This makes them especially delicious. These pretzels are best fresh from the oven. We haven't had any problems with leftovers, but if you have any pretzels left over, warm them up in the oven or microwave. Thank you for joining us today at the Amoretti Test Kitchen. For more recipes, visit us at amorettiblog.com. If you'd like to see a particular product being used, or if you have any questions, email us at blog at amoretti.com. See you next time. Thanks again for joining us today. Below you can find a link to our store, as well as recipes developed in the Amoretti Test Kitchen. If you want to see our previous recipe, click on the video next to me. Also, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for all of our updates. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Next, we're going to combine the crust ingredients and stir with a fork until they're well blended. We're going to press it into the bottom of a 9 inch springform pan. Place the pan on a large square of heavy duty.